y'all. I'm Dominique Green with Puppy Panda Crochet Co. And this is Crochet Podcast Episode 4. Today I'm a little chilly, so I have a little blanket on. So hopefully that doesn't get in the way. If you need to find me, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, here, obviously. And where else? Etsy. <laughs> yes. Also on Etsy. So today I have a couple things to show you. I have a couple finished objects, a mostly finished object or a half whip or half FO, which is finished object. And I also have a couple acquisitions. So first things first today, I got my finished objects. This is the pocket box by spinning yarn crochet. I just, sorry about that, Nova decided to get in the way. <laughs> so this is the Pocket Fox from Spin a Yarn Crochet. I use Burnett Blanket Yarn in Pumpkin Spice and Vintage White. It's just two panels and crocheted around the edges. Very easy to do. I will link all the patterns down below. And Core decides to get off the bed. This is Core. Um, so, Corbin, give me just one minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to deal with the kiddos. So, about my foxes, I made two of them. They're the exact same. I make at least two of them for every single craft show. And I have a craft show coming up. And hopefully these two will sell. Next I have my another finished object. I have this kitty. This is a kitty just off of Amazon and I used a Brights rainbow yarn and a sheepy blanket type yarn on the bottom. This lovey pattern is by Zelda Energy 3. And you can just remove the the stuffed animal and reinsert it. And I also have another lovey with the dark colors of the rainbow. So red, orange, dark yellow. There's one row of green, one row of blue, and a purple with the same Sharpa yarn. And this one I use the tie. I think it's called a white tiger. Could be wrong on that. So I got two lovies made up. And I have a bunch of keychains. Oh, I'm missing a keychain. It's in here somewhere. And I'll find it later. But I have four flying pigs. This is a no-sew pig pattern off of Ravelry. And I just used a made-up wing pattern. And he's attached with D-rings. So I got four of those guys. Three. And four. And I have two avocados. And it's just an avocado pattern that I found on Ravelry with the ring. And I have no clue where the other avocado just went, but there are two of those. Then I have, Lord, I am losing everything. A blanket that I just finished. This is a center out blanket. Just a square. And it is made with Caron Chunky Cakes. It's just a two row repeat. Very simple and quick to do. And I, that is all my finished objects, but I have a half finished object. This goes with one of my acquisitions. 
it is this little butterfly and you can remove the cap and the wings and it's now just a caterpillar it's one of those life cycles ones so to finish off that one i still have to make the egg and the cocoon and then i will be all done and hopefully i can get that done before my craft show that comes next weekend and then that is all my finished objects and half finished objects so now on to acquisitions so for that butterfly it's called the Lely Lala beetles bugs and butterflies a crochet story for tiny cr critters yeah and big dreams it's a hardcover book. I just got it off of Amazon. And I'm making the Ulysses butterfly that's right there. And there is an entire story at the beginning of the book and it's really cute. It goes through the life cycle from caterpillar to butterfly. And then I also have a granite box here. In this giant box, I have a couple things for my um, crochet kits. I got size eight needles. They're just tapestry needles so they can fit through my buttons. I got a couple boy crochet hooks and 3.5 millimeters. And I found these scissors. They're really cute, tiny. And to open them, you just open the glasses long ways, and then you flip it, and nice easies. Nice easies. <laughs> yeah. Nice easy scissors. And they just look like glasses, which I love, but um, very sharp, and I got them off of Amazon. And my last acquisition, I have... Finally, an 8.0 Clover Crochet Hook. I use an 8mm for my turtles and my stain rays, my chunky ones, and I just been wanting a, an 8mm crochet hook. So I am happy that I finally got one. So that is all for acquisitions, finished objects, most of my whips, and all of that. So now up to upcoming. Um, I will still try to get all my stitch markers into a video. I will probably, if I can, do a separate clip explaining all my create all my stitch markers and hopefully get that into this video, maybe. And then we have a Nova. <laughs> And then I will, over the next week, record mini vlogs and do a, um, what's it called? Like a market vlog type video and showing what I do to get ready to, for all my markets. But it's pretty much just packing up everything, making sure that I have a table. And as you guys have already seen, all my things I've made for my markets um and i'll do a recap after that so hopefully that will go well and i'm still not on a regular video uh uploading schedule yet i'm still trying to get in the swing of things and hopefully um Hopefully get on a regular scheduled videos every so often. So please stay with me and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Hey y'all, so these are my stitch markers that I have made. I'm sorry about the reflection right there. I have my fan going up above, up above me. These are already packaged in their plastics. So for these ones, I do not have them listed in my shop yet. I just 
um, put them in my mystery stitch marker set. So I have that one. And these are 12 millimeter clasps, so they work on very thin yarns. So we got this browns one. We have another brown one. And a third one that has the brown marble in it. And then I have this one, which is blue. And these are listed in my shop. And I also have another blue. These pearl white ones. A light blue one. Another light blue one. And that's all of those. Next, I have my charms. So I got these music note ones with these green ones. I got a music note with a guitar and lime green. I have these elephants with like um, a turquoise type color. And I have these paw prints, which are not listed in my shop yet. And I have these paw prints, and that's more like a navy blue. Next, I have my army type stitch markers. So I have the army mom, army wife, and our one just says army. This one is my navy one. It says navy wife and military mom. The next one says marine wife and marine mom. And then last but not least is the Air Force and I Heart My Soldier. And those all have the colors. Then I decided to have some emojis. So I have this heart emoji and it's on a longer, um, what's it called? Eye needle type thing. So I got that one with the heart and the kissy face. I have this one with the laugh and smiles and the pearl. I have another laughing smile and like a winky face with the navy blue. I have these smiling faces with a pearl and navy blue. And I have these smiling faces with the navy blue and red. And those I only have singles of. They are not in my shop yet, but they will be in the mystery type stitch marker stuff. This one, this next one is in the shop. They are Blaney Owls. And I have two sets of these. They are already listed in the shop. And I will be right back for the second half of all my stitch markers. Okay, now on to the second half of the stitch markers. I have four different types of these bees. So it's just a bee and a honeycomb. This one has gold. This next one is pearls. This is a more matte gold. This one has black, white, and gold. And those are the types of stitch markers that I got for those guys. Then I have some pie stitch markers. I have this one that has like that brownish color. And it's a silver pie. Then I have this darker one with that navy blue. And it's just like a black metal type thing. And then I also have this gold one. Those have all been listed in my shop. Then I also have this gold fox. I only have one of these guys. I have one of this red and white fox. And then I have one arrowhead. And this is on the larger one. And I have one of these turtles. Then I have these elephants with the Alabama colors. 
So I got one in silver in the Alabama, and I have one in gold with the Alabama colors. And I also have these rubber duckies. I only have one of each set right now. So I got a blue, a white, a pink, and a traditional yellow. Then I have five of these panda bears, and I have three of these Dalmatian doggies. And then on to my larger sets, I have this one, which is like sea critters, and it has the um, hook size. I have this sea creatures with the hook size. And then this one is more earthy tones. So it's got the tree of life, lots of trees, leaves, some other stuff in there with the E through I hook sizes. And then last but not least, I got one of these elements. It's lithium, carbon, oxygen, neon, and iron. And there's only one set of those. So all of these are either listed under mystery stitch markers or have been listed in my shop. And I hope you guys enjoy.